A scary video from Albany looks like creepy things are about to happen at night, but when Mike Lice takes the camera to the window, you can see a big problem. It's the middle of the day, possibly the last for him and his family as a terrible change looms in the sky. What happens next haunts them forever. At 9.16, a tree almost connects with the side of their house. The only thing that saved them were winds blowing slightly away from their home. When so much scary stuff happens to you at once, there really is only one reaction. I'm sure they were expecting to capture some scary moments on camera, but nothing like this. Almost losing your home, whether you actually did in the end or not, is one of the scariest things imaginable. If you've ever been in a school at night, you know how creepy the dark, empty halls can be. While well, this school takes the hair standing on end to another level. Published to YouTube by Tubba Rubba in January of 2016, this scary video shows security footage via a video monitor which was captured at the apparently haunted Folk High School in Arkansas. A janitor's cart sits in the entrance of a bathroom. A moment later, it starts to move slowly forward. It pauses for a minute and then rolls further, wheeling around the corner before launching fast across the hallway and then turning sharply to enter another room. According to Tubba Rubba, the janitor of the school weighed in on this haunted ordeal. He said that his cart is too heavy to have been pulled by a string. Moreover, no one was caught on camera entering or leaving the bathroom before or after the creepy incident. So I guess we can assume the school bathroom is haunted. By folks' version of Moaning Myrtle, better steer clear before she drowns you in her tears. Mackie and Amanda are about to enter the most haunted place in Orange County. While exploring the house, they hear strange noises. One of their paranormal devices goes off, and at the same time, they hear something in the distance. So, if anyone's coming. Did you hear that? Yes. While they're searching in the bathroom, this happens. Did someone just make a noise in here? A whisper is heard. I was always gonna say if any spirits are up here with. What was that in there? It's not like a whisper, did it not? Yeah, it sounded like something. And then footsteps. What? There's like so many noises and stuff happening when you just got The bear continues to be paranormally activated. Yeah, maybe we should move the music box down to closer to her room so that it can catch up. <gasps> it picked up an EVP. And then they notice something. What the? What music do you like? Just like an ambulance. Like a doctor? Like yes. Yes. Is this one of the doctor's unfortunate patients? Oh, 
I think it might be. And I think they passed away with unfinished business. Something unsettling is going on in this haunted house. Published by Mr. Horror in February of 2022, the scary video begins with this mysterious clacking noise. The room is empty and the floor looks like it's covered in dirt or sawdust, or as some in the comments suggest, flour. The clacking continues, followed by a large banging sound. Then footsteps appear as something invisible walks across the floor. Many in the comments note how big the prints are. Others are just glad there isn't a jump scare. To what or who do you think these prints belong? For now, I think it'll remain a mystery. Don't let her in. Published in November of 2021 by Taja Fact. This CCTV footage is chilling. Two women are at work in a computer lab. When one of them leaves, after a moment the sliding door slams shut, scaring the young woman who is left alone. Alarmed, she turns in her seat towards the door but later returns to her work. Shortly after, the lights start flickering on and off in the hallway, and a creepy figure is standing in the doorway. It looks like a young woman in white, with her dark hair hanging over her face. When the woman is finally alerted to the figure, presence. She slowly gets up to go look, although we're left to wonder what happens next. Maybe we shouldn't find out. It's past midnight at a police station in Pahang, Malaysia. A quiet crew plays chess to help pass the time, completely unaware of something that stays two moves ahead. <laughs> The faint outline of a figure leaves them fearfully singing for protection and clambering over each other to stay far away. <laughs> A different police video taken 10 years later shows more scary things that are just beyond creepy. <laughs> In the darkness looms a mysterious figure, not wearing a reflective vest like everyone else, that also does not reveal any detail whatsoever, even when directly under the high-powered beam of a police flashlight. <laughs> Not to mention those crying noises coming from the woods. It could be speakers, but I really doubt the police would be wasting time faking paranormal videos, so either this is a joke being played on them, or else these scary ghost videos are actually real. I want to get the opinions of people from Malaysia where this video was made to help me decide if these creepy videos are real or part of a viral trend or what. Either way, you know the paranormal activity is bad, when even the police are too afraid to do something about it, not that there's much they can do. The Rolling Hills Asylum in East Bethany, New York is weird, really weird. So weird that it's classified as a paranormal research center now for ghost hunters. Liam Neville is exploring the haunted asylum when something strange and maybe paranormal catches his attention. This is what he's caught on camera and what's been haunting his memories ever since. There's definitely somebody down here. There's a light coming from that. Unless there's a light down there. Whoa. Yo. Played in slow motion and you'll see that his flashlight is off when they see the mysterious light in the hall. Liam and his friend are simultaneously frozen in place with fear and ecstatic. I saw a figure at the end of the hall. So did I. Oh wow. my I definitely God. saw that. Yo, you saw that? Yeah. They claim to see a shadow figure in the hallway and I think I might see it 59 seconds into the video. What do you think? Yo. Yo. 
A possible ghost sighting in the Indian town of Kudail has left construction worker witnesses wondering what it was they saw walking around late at night. <laughs> You can hear them talking about the figure when suddenly it lets out a loud scream that all of them hear over the construction equipment. This video is real, warns the uploader, who says that this was taken by his sister's friend at 2.30 in the morning. I'm not sure if I believe him or not, but if I lived in the area, I definitely wouldn't take the chance of walking around early in the morning and finding out something is in the sky. An unexplained light in the sky has everyone in Hawaii weirded out. On December 29th, 2020, a woman is surprised to see this mysterious object pass over her home. She jumps in her car and followed it for over two miles until it reaches the ocean, at which point it dropped. Oh, the land in the water, whatever. The Federal Aviation Administration has no records of missing aircraft on their radar that night and nothing has been recovered from the ocean. No other federal organizations are able to provide any answers, so what do you think this strange sighting really was? I think it might have been a blimp getting smaller on the horizon and looking like it falls into the ocean. Luisito Camunaica enters a graveyard in Argentina meant for millionaires to see what the afterlife is like for the rich. After he is taking a personal tour in a cemetery that's supposed to be empty, he twice fails to see what many later insist was a shadow person lurking nearby. This possible ghost sighting over his shoulder is giving a lot of people the creeps. I think it was weird at first, but now I think it could have just been another person taking a tour. This encounter at 9 minutes and 55 seconds is what has many people convinced that this is a ghost, but I think I have a different explanation. The first person is wearing all black and does look creepy, but if you look closely you can see a second person is walking with him, and therefore this is almost definitely just a couple taking an afternoon stroll and nothing more. This isn't paranormal in my opinion, but with almost 8 million views and new comments coming in all the time, I just wanted to analyze this video and put the rumors of this video to rest. Still, you should always watch out for strange people while on vacation, especially in a cemetery. This creepy randonautica led YouTuber Jasko Vlogs to Devil's Forest and he was met with this mysterious call of the wild. I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's anything. Bro? What was that? I don't know what that was, but it sounded afraid. They then find this bizarre shelter. Looks like someone built some type of shelter here or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's just... What is it for? Jasko is right that it's not natural. Shortly after, they feel like they're being followed. Walking towards us right now? Um, I don't know if it's that same person, but let's get out of here. While I'm uncertain if they are or not, I do think it's smart to put some distance between them and that mysterious shelter. A YouTuber named Crossover likes to play basketball, but we all know that's not why he's on this list. He lives in a house on the edge of some woods that are known to be haunted. At least if you believe what's about to happen to him next. Crossover goes inside of his dad's workshop to talk more about his plans for the channel. You know, I have had channels in the past, but you know, I kind of scrapped them. They were, they were a little bit weird and I don't even know what was going And behind him, one of his dad's tools rolls off the shelf. Crossover wonders how the object moves all by itself. And a scary voice tells Crossover to come back as soon as he goes off camera. He thinks this is a ghost EVP because he says he was in the workshop alone. However, the voice could have been edited and someone could have been hiding under the shelf to make the object look like it was pushed by a ghost. 
This unlucky fellow must have the strictest parents ever because he's mowing his lawn in some pretty severe weather. A storm is rolling into St. Louis, Missouri, and things are about to get bad for him quickly. Ellie, stay back. Man! His neighbor tells him to get inside, but he refuses. Apparently, he either doesn't know or doesn't care that pushing a big piece of metal under a bunch of trees is a recipe to attract lightning. Even after almost getting stuck, the defiant neighbor continues to mow his yard as the weather gets worse. That's when the person recording decides they are standing outside too and takes their own advice. This neighbor may have beaten out the elements this time, but I don't know how many storms they can weather before they learn their lesson the hard way. Definitely don't do what they do unless you want to wind up struck by lightning. Hina Tahir and her sister are camping in New Jersey's Double Trouble State Park when they notice a strange woman who is half submerged in a local lake. Her clothes are all white, and she has a serious expression on her face as she sways in place. To this very day, the two girls aren't sure if what they recorded was a live person or a ghost. If it was a person, then I have absolutely no idea why they would be in the water. Well, fully clothed, and if it was a ghost, then maybe her body is lurking in the shadow waters below. Whatever the case may be, Hina and her sister decide to leave the woman in peace and dare not go any closer. A YouTuber named Ferris Wheeler is exploring an abandoned house with a friend. The first thing they notice is that the house is covered in flies and that all of the main doors are locked. After poking around some more, they come across the remains of a poor cat who must have gotten trapped inside. It's a depressing scene and definitely not the exciting find that they were hoping for for, so they decide to leave. On the way out, however, they unintentionally record something watching them from the shadows. According to Ferris Wheeler, this is the ghost of a child. If you look closely, you can see a short, motionless figure with its face covered by long hair. Then again, this looks like it could be some sort of debris or even a wastebasket. Let me know what you think it is. Jeremy Pulverenti says he's caught a real ghost encounter on video. Security footage of the mysterious event only leaves him all the more stunned in response. Look at, do you see that there's nothing by the wheels or anything? You can see it on an angle. And that hose is way over there. You see it on the angle? Yep. What the f he and his friend suggest the container is leaning over like somebody is holding it. At 35 seconds, there's a ghostly footprint moments before the object falls over on its own, and they react as expected. Common sense would suggest that the container tipped over because it was overfilled except for one thing. They've been filling this container with water for years, and everyone knows exactly how much it holds. This is strange to say the least, and with almost 75,000 views, almost no dislikes, and all his friends backing him up, it's definitely worth looking at. I think it could be one of the wheels on the bottom coming loose, or a small hole opening up on the side we can't see. But with that said, a haunted garage is not completely out of the question. If you hear something outside, don't go investigate. You might not like what you find. Published to YouTube in July of 2006, TCAN456 writes, Just watch, but not before you go to bed. Take his advice. In this home video, our friend, who is clearly scared judging by his breathing patterns, looks around his house after hearing something and then heads outside to investigate. He passes a large potted plant as he turns a corner. Nothing appears to be there, but when he turns back, a figure flees from behind the plant and races into the darkness. The cameraman runs after it but quickly loses the creature. He searches along some thick hedges in his backyard and soon faces the plant man again. 
Instead of searching him out further, he races inside, locking the door behind him, runs to his room, locking that door too and gets in bed. All the while, there is banging. <laughs> Although it's not clear where the sound is coming from, the rest of the video is nothing but a black screen, one upon which you keep expecting a jump scare to surface. Don't worry, the fear is over. But my questions about this video remain unanswered. In the winter of 2012, this YouTuber was almost a goner when a mother black bear decided to charge at him, not once but twice. Speed Shooter XT was hunting in this Oregon forest when he encountered some bears nearby and began filming. The bear starts off by keeping her distance, but ultimately begins charging in his direction. The most scary part of this entire video is the look on the mama bear's face when she begins approaching played in slow motion. The man managed to scare the bear away by being loud and shortly after, she charges towards him again before the video ends. Luckily, this YouTuber got away safely considering black bears can run up to 40 miles per hour. So if the bear did chase him, he wouldn't have standed a chance. A YouTuber named Stephanie Famelli hears screaming coming from her daughter's school bus. Multiple kids shouting at the top of their lungs, not necessarily for help, but completely terrified from the sound of it. The driver is shouting something back at them, but to no avail. She creeps up on them without making a sound, but just when Stephanie is about to see for herself what the screaming is all about, the bus suddenly pulls away around the corner, kids yelling all the while. Bye bye bus. According to her daughter, the kids were screaming that for no reason other than to make the driver mad. But we all know that sometimes kids will make up stories when the truth is too uncomfortable to say. And considering the bus driver was replaced soon after, who knows what was really happening in there. The Paranormal Nightmare team is facing off with a demon in this haunted home. When the team requests that the demon interact, it responds in kind. Hit something hard for us. Then this series of events sent chills down my spine. God, Josh, what? When one of the crew gives some advice to the other, there's immediate retaliation. Don't be nice to it, it's a demon. I'm up here longer than you. Just don't be nice to it. There we go. Something hit me right in the eye. Tell me your name. And when they tell the demon that they're sticking around, he responds. We're not leaving, we're gonna stay here all night. Oh sh what oh. The, the demon even shares his identity. What is your name? After which it charges one of them. Whoa. No, no, no. Dude, something just came running at me. Holy Dude. And becomes defiant. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa, And that went off and said, holy dude, that was so That was right in here again. In my opinion, this house is 100% haunted. Can anyone get rid of the demon within? I suspect there's no telling what it'll do. A YouTuber named Rose of Decay records a scary Snapchat face swap video that leaves her wondering if she had a real ghost encounter. Hi. 
pretty bad. What's really creepy is how this mirror image kind of has her eyes, but at the same time they're all black. The bizarre face goes away for a while and then comes back as soon as she has a question. Can you talk to me? This time the apparition has its mouth open wide as if screaming. It's probably just a software glitch detecting a face in the mirror that isn't there. So I don't think it's necessarily real, but I don't see anything that remotely looks like a face. So hey, that's real enough to me. Seeing an alternative version of yourself scream while no one is there is definitely creepy nonetheless. Ryan Prunty is certain their estate is haunted. After this creepy experience in their attic happened, let's take a look at what he and his friend caught on tape and see if it's really paranormal. Still, I think it's all good up here, dude. We're gonna explore a little further. No, 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 no. Bro, it's a lot. It's funny, Bailey. I'm not open kidding, the door, bro. Bailey. It's locked. Bailey, open the door. Look. It doesn't look like the door got stuck by itself. At 11 minutes and 34 seconds, the locking mechanism has been turned into a horizontal locked position. Someone, either a ghost or one of their roommates, must have been on the other side. They force open the door and less than a minute later, this mysterious orb guides them to another weird event. No one else is home and yet they see wet footprints outside of the shower that lead to nowhere. Maybe one of them showered and left, but I think most people people would pick up the towel first. It's a creepy video, but all of these ghostly encounters would be easy to fake with the help of a third person. So I'm wondering if that's exactly what they did. A series of unfortunate events leads us to no answers in this video. The security footage was taken in September of 2015 at around 1 in the morning. The footage appears to be taken outside a shop after some heavy rain. Two men are standing outside, one on the pavement, one at the door. After a moment, something grabs the man standing on the pavement. Water is splashing around like the incident is happening in a puddle. The man falls to the ground and the other man near the door attempts to come to his aid, grabbing his arms. He is pushed back though and runs off toward the door to get help. The man continues to fend off the invisible force before being dragged out of sight. The man returns from inside, looking as though he's on the phone. He searches around for the man and walks toward the water. Then a large figure comes flying at him. It's not clear if it's the man returning to safety or something else. In slow motion, it looks like it's crawling on all fours. It chases the man inside, knocking the door on the way in. A moment later, a mysterious figure in a black cloak exits the building. What is happening here? Who grabbed that man? What gave Chase into the building? And who is this cloaked figure? Unfortunately, we are left with no answers, only questions. A YouTuber named Kamadina is recording his sister and parents in a parking lot while on vacation when he gets the strange and eerie sensation that he is being watched. He turns around and walks for a bit in the direction that he feels he is being watched from, and then he zooms in. Sure enough, this pale figure stands facing him from afar. He turns around to go back into his hotel, but the feeling of eyes upon him returns. He turns around to take in the figure one last time, who is still standing in the same spot far away from all of the cars and everything else of interest. Their white outfit looks suspiciously bright given the low lighting. That was weird. Wait a minute. Kamadina hasn't a clue as to what this could be, or if one day he will see it again soon, much closer next time. Wait. That's the moon on the right. So what the f that? A TikToker named Zandorf looks up to see a large object dwarfing the moon. Oh yeah, it is. It does do it on mine. You just have to line it up right. It's not a street lamp because there's nothing underneath of it. Stranger still, the moon isn't even visible on his friend's phone when he tries to take a picture. So is Zandorf really telling the truth? You don't see anything. Like, we need to take a picture of, like, the difference. That's so f***ing weird. What the f*** it is? <laughs> Look! 
I think that the larger object could actually be the real moon, which makes the smaller circle a lens flare. This is the only explanation that makes sense to me, unless he really was looking at something much larger and many times brighter than the moon itself. If you fear snakes, you might want to hide under the covers for this one. YouTuber Falcon X-Ray published this footage in November of 2015 with the description, just started cleaning the pool for summer, came home and found a snake having a swim cooling down from the heat. The snake looks to be about 4 feet long and is quite thick. The snake is shown circling the pool's edge, probably trying to find its way out. Once or twice it does creep its head up the wall of the pool, but it doesn't make it very far. While the snake's slithering movements in the water are creepy enough, one wonders if this breed is poisonous. What kind of snake is it? Whatever the monster is. The uploader said that he built a cage and kept it. Don't know if I'd want to keep that thing in my home, but I'm sure he's happy with his new pet. YouTuber Darklife says this was the worst EHF find he's ever discovered in an abandoned house. Dennis explains that he didn't bring his tent so he won't be spending the night. Later inside, a spirit confirms that she is there. The spirit says that she remembers her relatives. As Dennis is standing in the dark, he accidentally steps on a hornet's nest. Papa. Yeah, Papa. He leaves a camera down there instead, so as not to be stung, but something spins his camera around. I don't know what did that, but it was not a hornet. A paranormal YouTube channel known as Exploring Darkness goes on a two-person investigation that leaves them in their words. Really an exploring video. What in what the world? The? I said we're gonna call this an exploring video. Now I'm getting scared. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing what true evil feels like by the time they're through. Oh, yeah. Is someone in here? in here? Sending just the roof. Uh uh. We nope 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 nope. On reviewing the video evidence, the research team sees a hooded figure at three minutes fifty one seconds. Paranormal or not, there's no doubt that this is the person responsible for making all of the noise. Freaky, right? A person checks their CCTV to catch whoever busted their side view mirror. It's on the sidewalk side, and therefore absolutely couldn't have been a car. The video does not end at all as expected, when a phantom force snatches the mirror and gives it a twist. Then again, maybe a manufacturer's bolt or something came loose here at 2 seconds. Point is, I have never seen a car mirror do something like this all by itself before. Have you? This 7.4 magnitude earthquake struck Japan years ago. Earthquakes are common in this part of the world, but what happens next is not. In the distance among the swaying buildings, a bright glow in the night sky, possibly what scientists call an earthquake light. A bright light burns intensely over the city for nearly 10 full seconds before extinguishing as suddenly as it came. The light appears to have caused no damage and was accompanied by no sound. It does not look like it was caused by a blown out transformer or any other kind of equipment. Scientists have documented this type of phenomenon before, known only as earthquake lights, but they don't know what causes them. 
They occur in less than 1% of earthquakes and have been reported for hundreds of years. A handful of theories exist, but a real explanation has never been proven. All we know for sure is that it creates an eerie light show that witnesses will never forget. This clip reveals an underground entrance in Saudi Arabia. It was originally posted to YouTube by Bismax TV in August of 2019. According to the video description, the underground is claimed to be haunted. It certainly sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying screams are heard coming from the depths of what looks like a bunker, or maybe even a well. There's a ladder leading down into a hole deep within the earth. The sacred text is being read, while screeching continues in the background. <laughs> As the tormented screams continue, so does the sacred text reading. But what we don't know is why, and what is going on in this underground bunker. Some in the comments say this is one of the scariest things they've ever heard. Others say it's definitely not fake and the latter perhaps leads to a secret torment chamber. YouTuber Psychic Afro Dancer offers up two interesting theories. One suggests that it's a red fox in heat. If you've ever heard audio from any animal in heat, you might consider this a valid theory. But the second theory is more appealing to those of us with paranormal leanings. It involves the belief in jinn. Jinn are spirits, demons, or supernatural creatures that appear in Islamic mythology and theology. Jinn are creatures, similar to humans, thus they are neither inherently evil or inherently good, and the word jinn is derived from the terms to conceal or to hide. You can see it's not a stretch that some suggest jinn means beings that are concealed from the senses. It's believed that jinn originated as animal shape-shifting malevolent spirits found in unclean places, deserts, and dingy, dark, desolate locations. Those who believe often try to protect themselves from jinn. Could this be jinn? Unredeemed, tormented in a scary hole. All I know is I wouldn't be going down there to check. <laughs> Catholics honor the departed on November 2nd with All Souls Day, praying for the souls of their departed family and friends, often with visits to the graveyard. But what happens when the soul hasn't crossed over? Published by own vlogs, these paranormal investigators visited a haunted graveyard in order to answer that question. As the crew wanders around the cemetery's open graves, they suddenly see this vague, pale figure in the distance. After glancing over several times at the figure, the men get too scared by its stillness and start running off. <laughs> Gathering some courage, they turn and look back. The figure is still there. They run off again and straight out of the cemetery. Was this a soul that hadn't yet crossed over? or just a graveyard statue. In any event, this is one scary video that went horribly wrong. A YouTuber named Yvonne hears a noise coming from her kitchen and grabs her phone to record. After 15 seconds of silence, a cabinet door opens to let an item drop onto the counter. Oh my god. The obvious answer is that someone pulled a string to open it. However, the cabinet opens to the right and no one is on that side. I guess someone could have been directly underneath. But when Yvonne gets closer, you can see nobody is on the ground, so I'm not sure what to think. A YouTuber named Shahara Negron and her family have been experiencing some strange activity ever since they moved into a new place. Lately, her daughter has been complaining that her toys have been moving all by themselves, and one doll in particular seems to be at the center of it all. This doll actually looks like, and it's kind of old, where I have nothing really precious or special about it, but it just has this feeling about it. She sits and watches the doll as orbs dance all around. It isn't long before something starts to happen. This is some freaky. It's, oh, I'm about to run. What the? Whoa, what the fuck? I was thinking that somebody hidden behind the chair was moving it, but then the recliner footrest comes out by itself at the end. 
As far as I know, somebody would have had to grab the lever on the side or press the button, but I don't see anyone. Tell me if you think this family is legitimately being haunted. Move over, Cujo. This real life pet cemetery is even scarier than the book. Posted to YouTuber by Adventures with Christian in October of 2018, the uploader provides a bit of historical background to the scene of this haunting video. According to him, this unofficial pet cemetery in Boulder City is the most haunted in the world. Why? He writes, Many people claim that there are mafia victims secretly buried there. Other than the names on the headstones, which may have faded away, there is no record of the animals buried there. The YouTuber visits the pet cemetery at night. When it's at its creepiest, at the entrance is a sign noting that pet burials are prohibited there. According to him, the pet cemetery opened in 1931, located 20 miles from Vegas. It's potentially a mobster's paradise. In the 25-minute video, Christian explores the graveyard, looking for all elusive ghosts of animals and people alike. About 20 minutes in, he comes across a dugout grave. You can see the corner of a wooden coffin inside. About 22 minutes in, he hears something in the cemetery. Although what it is isn't caught on camera. What in the world? What? 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 Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. What in the world? Oh. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh my gosh. That's it. I'm done. He says he's done and hightails it out of there. The camera then captures a hooded man walking past, right in the line of the flashlight, prompting him to really hurry. It's later revealed that the cameraman was just a character, but that doesn't make this place any less creepy. Currently, pets are laid to rest in this cemetery, including that of the famous film star dog Rin Tin Tin. If you'd like to lay flowers on his grave, this video is a cautionary tale. Don't do it at night. Derek Desso Daily finds himself in a darkened cemetery. On a 24-hour challenge with some friends, there's only some basic snacks and a small flashlight to split between the three of them, but they feel confident nothing serious will happen. Derek barely gets into the cemetery, and already he hears strange sounds that I don't think can easily be faked. I know that I don't see anything past this room. Oh, what was that sound? Hey man, there's somebody walking right there, bro. Where? Derek claims to see someone off in the distance, though I personally don't see anything. Still, he turns off his flashlight and quietly walks away to avoid detection. Other than that, nothing else happens until around 3 a.m., at which point the strange sounds return, even louder this time. Board, yeah. yeah, we have a Ouija board and we have a. They start playing with the homemade Ouija board and think they see something move in the trees. Then they think they hear footsteps. It's hard to say if they are just being paranoid or really experiencing something paranormal since nothing special is caught on camera. Later though, when they begin chanting a spell to speak with any nearby spirits, I can definitely hear what they are talking about. Eventually, one of them gets separated from the group and is covered in red when he returns. He claims to have fallen, but something about his story sounds off. Something falling on its own seems quite unlikely, making the claim of paranormal activity even more plausible. Julius Kitty has a child who won't stop looking up at the same spot on the ceiling and laughing for no apparent reason. It's almost as if someone or something is putting on a little show just for her, but clearly nothing is up there. After giggling for quite some time, the child suddenly grows silent and leaves the room while still looking up. Oh, are they leaving? You're following them, huh? The toddler follows whatever it is back into the room and tries to get his parents to see what she's looking at by pointing. Then she goes back over to the same spot and reaches up at the ceiling again. This time, it's almost like she wants to be picked up by whatever it is that she sees. Oh my gosh. 
creeping me out. If this is a spirit, then whatever form it's taking does not appear to upset the child. If anything, the toddler seems fascinated with its presence and wants to get a closer look. Let me know what you think this was, and if it is paranormal, tell me if you think this is a good spirit, maybe even that of a relative, or a bad one who is trying to gain the trust of a child. This one might be harder to hear, but it's worth it. While investigating, YouTuber's ghost dimension heard something strange at New Sam Park Hospital in Liverpool, England. Listen closely. First, they hear voices in a foreign tongue, and as they listen, they hear a snap. A little later, they hear more unexplained sounds. Yeah. To me, it sounds like distant footsteps and voices. And then, immediately after Neil asks if anyone is there, you can hear a subtle humming. And as they're about to head downstairs, they hear an undeniable racket from the basement. When the sound gets louder, they hightail it upstairs. There was definitely something in that haunted hospital with them. I'm not sure if it was paranormal or perhaps another group of investigators, but hearing it without seeing anything put me on edge. These two unidentified flying object sightings are eerily similar. Posted on Reddit by GamersGen, these two sightings from Miami and Beijing are comparative. The first appeared in Beijing on February 3, 1995. The unidentified flying object hovers as an illuminated yellow disc in the evening sky. After a while, it starts to glide slowly overhead. GamersGen posts a second video in the comments, one which looks similar to the first but was captured on October 20, 1995. This unidentified flying object was spotted along a freeway. The driver pulled over to capture it hovering near an apartment complex and then over Miami Airport. GamersGen suggests that today, unidentified flying objects aren't seen as often for a reason. His theory? They have become more cautious and further said, they seem to be extremely aware of us observing them and above all, they don't want to be compromised. What do you think? It makes sense to me. And these two sightings are certainly quite similar. Paranormal Explorers Moxley of Moxley's Crazy Adventures and Dan of Nighthawk Exploring team up to explore an abandoned house so haunted that only two well-versed paranormal investigators such as themselves could ever hope to stand a chance against it. Known only as the Invisible House, the haunted place in the UK is host to ghastly figures and ghostly apparitions that will make your skin crawl as they reach out and brush by. While exploring the second floor, they pass by a small statue kneeling in prayer. The way of faces into the room makes me think it was left there to protect against something inside, a paranormal presence that doesn't want them in there exploring the abandoned house at all. Somewhere nearby a door closes all by itself, and when you slow down the video at 6 minutes and 4 seconds, there is a half-concealed outline of a pale ghost face in the window. Not knowing that they've already caught a ghost sighting on tape, they break out the K2 meter to get supernatural consent for their paranormal investigation to continue. Are you okay with myself and Moxley being here? Can you take it to the yellow or orange? 
Would you be okay if myself and Moxley used a spirit box in here? No. Give it a go. Mm -hmm. Give it a go. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. A chill passes over them, and just like the legends say, the ghost hunters hear and feel a presence brushed by them both. They turn around to find this heavy cabinet door, which was open when they first came in, is now closed. They open and close the cabinet to see how heavy it is, and conclude that it is too heavy to close on its own from a gentle breeze. And get this. Every time they touch the cabinet door, a ghost orb angrily flies overhead. It happens three times and it's quite creepy. This video will have you questioning how safe your food is if you live with roommates. Basically, a woman in South Carolina was caught on hidden camera, opening up the fridge and spraying select items with window cleaner. At first, it looks like she might simply be cleaning a dirty spot on the shelf. But when she takes a container out that still has food in it, gives a few good sprays, and then puts it back, it becomes clear that she is tampering with food. Since there is a hidden camera in the first place, I'm guessing she has been doing this for a long time, or at least long enough to make her roommate suspicious. She even almost notices the camera at approximately one minute into the video, but seems to shrug off the sensation of being watched. When faced with the evidence, she was put in a first offenders program and faced no time. Do you think this is fair based on the video, or should she have gotten a harsher punishment? I just did some research, and I guess if you're gonna get lost at a dead end, creepy bridge, at least if there's some cool legend ghost story behind it, then it's worth checking out, right? An outdoors YouTube channel called Nomadic Fanatic has been camping for a week when he comes across a spooky location, an old bridge that's haunted. According to legend, a bandit named Stuckley was brought to justice here. And apparently every once in a while, if you hear a splash in the water, that's Stuckey's ghost behind here. There's nothing you can really do about it. We're out of here. That's about enough of that. Nomadic Fanatic is all by himself, holding a GoPro when he hears a splash below, which is a bit too much of a coincidence. So I guess that means the ghost story could be real. And unfortunately, there is a lot of graffiti left behind here. There's nothing you can really do about I mean, Nomadic Fanatic has been alone all week and has tons of video evidence to prove he was by himself when this happened. I don't see how it could be set up, and therefore I think this scary noise could be a paranormal encounter with a ghost EVP caught on camera. This video was taken on a creature expedition deep in the woods of Alabama. Is this an unknown creature caught on tape? They think they see a figure hiding between two trees, and when they zoom in for a closer look, they hear a deep noise. Well, some people think this is a cryptid noise. I'm pretty sure it's just the sound of the zoom lens going in and out of focus. Do you think this is a creature sighting they've caught on camera? I think they were just creeped out in some admittedly scary woods. Sometimes anger comes in the form of a crazy woman guarding her property. For YouTuber Jack Z in May of 2018, this was the case. Jack explains that he and his friends were riding along a trail they'd never explored. It led to a stranger's property, but it wasn't clear that they were on private property, as there weren't signs or fences around it. And in the video, it really doesn't appear private. It looks like a forest, a free-for-all. According to Jack, as they were heading out, a woman came out of nowhere and started confronting them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, get off! I'm sick and tired of you, bull! This is the first time I'm here! Bull. You guys are here all the time, no, scared of my horses! Grabbing hold of Jack's backpack to throw him off balance, which led him to busting his brake on a downed tree that was in front of him. As he climbs out from under his bike, she can be heard screaming at his friends as well. She then gets in his face, saying that him and his friends are there every weekend on her private property, scaring her horses. 
Jack writes, Moral of the story is to be careful of what trails you choose to follow. It seems to me that this chilling event was just one big misunderstanding. And I hope this woman doesn't choose to act this way in similar future situations. A YouTuber named Papa Pepper is about to let his family play in the water when he senses something is wrong. The protective father decides to err on the side of caution and proceeds to check the water hole for any signs of danger. Just doing a quick look to make sure everything was safe. And up underneath this log, it's cotton mouth. A water moccasin. Hiding under this log, just barely poking out of the water, is the head of a fiercely territorial snake glaring back at the camera. And up underneath here, way in the front of that log. If you can make that out. Oh yeah, you can make that out. What is that? Big old water moccasin, guys. They are highly venomous and will go after people who intrude. They are the only type of water snake that puts up a battle rather than back down and will send someone to the hospital. Check it out down there. Let's focus in the center of the screen. Where are you at? Find it. Find it. There you go. There's another one. Papa Pepper is smart to have checked for them before letting his family swim here. Otherwise, they could have gotten seriously messed up. A ring camera caught yet another attempted intruder in the act. Actually, this time too. Published to YouTube in a ring cam video by Full Moon Crazies in July of 2019, the surveillance camera was placed behind a lamp and captures a pair of thieves going into a home during the Christmas season. The thieves are partially hiding their faces with their hoodies, and they seem to spy the ring camera right away as they look directly at it. After gathering some backpacks, likely filled with the taken goods, one of the intruders can be seen knocking the camera down to avoid its capturing further incriminating footage, but he didn't totally succeed. Two more intruders are caught on camera entering the room from the hallway. The clip ends without further explanation. These intruders more than likely made off like bandits, but we can only hope this video evidence was enough to catch them. Either way, this cost them Christmas, as they were sure to end up on Santa's naughty list. This footage was supposedly taken from a submarine lurking somewhere in the Greenland Sea. The crew is so fascinated with a school of fish overhead that they fail to see a much rarer creature directly behind them. A large webbed hand that is roughly five times larger than any human's slaps the glass before pushing away. It's almost as if the humanoid creature was toying with the submarine crew and wanted to make its presence known. However, one thing bothers me about this video. If everyone is so interested in the school of fish passing above them, then why is the cameraman focusing on his crewmate's reaction instead of the fish? This video could very well be scripted and CGI, although it also wouldn't surprise me if it really was legitimate. Only the submarine crew knows for sure. Why did the time traveler cross the road to get to the other side of the space-time continuum? Published by Datos Curiosos in October 2021, this cryptic video has me veering off course. The short dash cam video shows a semi ahead driving down the highway, suddenly appears to the left right into the next lane, making cars move out of the way in the opposite direction. Soon it becomes clear why. A man materializes out of nowhere as the semi pulls around him. He walks so slowly across the road that the car, far behind the semi, catches up with him. The man is dressed in white and is staring straight ahead, walking in a very upright manner. Stiff is a board. He appears as though he's in a trance and doesn't seem to be phased by what just happened. Who is this man and how did he seemingly appear out of nowhere? Only time will tell. 
In the meantime, I think something paranormal has to be going on here. A YouTuber named Izzy Centric is testing out his ghost hunting equipment on a creepy doll that's been possessed by a ghost for over 20 years. He sets the cursed object up in its miniature school desk, hoping to catch the doll moving on camera if possible. And he passes a ghost meter over it that is designed to catch the energy levels of any paranormal entities within. Sure enough, his paranormal equipment detects the presence of some creepy stuff lurking within the doll's demonic plastic shell. Is this you here? <gasps> what the? Are you kidding me? Not only does the ghost meter register a positive response, it detects so much paranormal energy in the air that it crackles with an abundance of electricity. His wife joins him in the investigation and she's not surprised by the results. It was her doll as a child and it always did creep her out. Now it's her turn to ask questions. Are you still here? It's not doing it anymore. She gets no response from the nightmarish doll, at least not until she takes it upon herself to give it an insult. Oh, little wuss. Say what? Said little wuss. Ooh, didn't like that, did you? The ghost meter lights up angrily at this provocation, which signals to me that this is more than just a coincidence, and almost undoubtedly a doll possessed by scary things you wouldn't want in your home. If this video is paranormal, then hopefully it stays bound to this object and finds no way to get loose. Working from home has its perks, but this might deter some. Posted to the very spooky video subreddit by External Tangents, this redditor was home on a gloomy day when he heard some strange noises. At his door, the noise sounds like distant clicking. He opens his hallway door to investigate. Out in the hallway, you can hear whining and slamming. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Then as he looks up to find an outside door open, it clanks loudly. He's found the culprit. At the top of the stairs, the exit door to the roof is open. Heading out onto the roof, he finds no one there. Although the mystery is solved, some think it's odd that the exit alarm isn't blaring. They also find the sounds and visuals quite spooky. If you heard this while you were alone in your apartment, would you have the nerve to investigate? I'd be looking for a new place to live. This video was streamed live from Telemark, Norway. A YouTuber named Odins2 sees a gigantic disturbance in the water, so he pulls over and starts recording. This is what he sees. It starts out as a long and skinny, shimmering mass, but after a while it really starts to take form, especially in the center, possibly as the monster rises very close to the surface. Since there are no boats nearby and the water is mostly calm, many people suspect that this is a famous legendary sea serpent named Seljord, which is Norwegian for Selma. It's kind of like Norway's version of the Loch Ness Monster. I guess it could just be fishing nets or a long string of garbage instead, but it's hard to tell for certain. Maybe someone out there with fishing experience can let me know if it looks like any of those things. What happens when a child opens his mom's Camaro car door in a Target parking lot and it accidentally dings a guy's car? Well, things escalated quickly and that's what happens. 
At least if you run into this unfortunate lady. Yeah, daddy hit the car, didn't you? You said he hit the car, didn't you? I did. You did. Yeah. You did. So get on the phone and tell him that you said that he hit the car. Jay Rios published this video in September of 2016 writing, Her son accidentally dings my car. No big deal. But after I inform her of what had happened and requested insurance info, she proceeds to deny what happened and resorts to verbally attacking my wife and I in front of her two kids and my boy. And that appears to be exactly what's happening in this video. The woman is seen storming all over the parking lot. As the man's wife is on the phone to the police, she's screaming in the background, they're lying. Amidst her rant, she asks her son to show her where he hit the car. And after she wanders off, her son does admit, the door landed right here while pointing out the dent on the man's car door. Jay Rios also updated the video descriptor to answer some questions for the audience. He tells us that despite the drama-filled six minutes of this video, the scene ended very anticlimactically. The cops arrived and gave him information on how to file a claim if need be at the auto body shop, but they didn't care about the video, even though he had a witness who confirmed that the crazy woman had struck him. He says he can't blame them because the woman was still going off when they were there and even resorted to telling the police off. After taking his vehicle to the shop a couple days later, the shop verified that the dent could be fixed with paintless dent repair for less than $100, a cost so low that he wasn't going to file a claim, especially since the woman's son told her the truth and she just didn't want to hear it. Humanoids apparently come in all different sizes. The one in this video is mistakenly labeled as a goblin, though it looks completely human except for its height. The supposed goblin in this video is shorter than one brick tall. It peeks around from behind a wall and quickly disappears once it sees the camera. The camera follows it to the other side of the wall and finds a tiny hole that the humanoid must have escaped into. If it wasn't for the video, the supposed goblin would not have left a trace behind. YouTuber Yvonne thinks her apartment is haunted. Posted in January of 2018, Yvonne writes that she heard a clanking noise in her home and turned on the camera to try to capture the noise. She notes in the video description, Our cabinets are brand new. No way for any rodent to get in. Also, they are the kind that don't swing shut on their own. You have to physically close them. The short clip shows a shot of her kitchen, assumedly from where the sound was coming. After a moment, a large clattering is heard as a cupboard opens of its own accord, and something from inside falls to the floor. Oh my god. <sighs> this isn't the first case of odd happenings in the home. According to Yvonne, strange occurrences have been going on for a while. What do you think? Is it time to move? This next one will make anyone terrified of exploring the backwoods ever again. Redditor Mutt Magician shares this pair of creepy videos to Reddit. He writes, I was in the backwoods of Oklahoma when I found a random shed full of children's clothes and dolls. Unfortunately, this was all I filmed. The video shows a doll missing a leg and with its head and arms discolored with dirt. It seems like the doll is quite fragile because he breaks it with a small squeeze. The Redditor writes that after finding the doll, he explored further and found an abandoned shed with children's clothes, dolls, and backpacks. In a follow-up video, the Redditor takes viewers to where he found this abandoned shed.
For some reason, I kept expecting a jump scare in this follow-up. Well, I didn't jump, I think this is incredibly scary. What were these dolls there for? Why were they in such disrepair? I have so many questions about this one, and very few answers. Would you rather see a ghost reflected or see one solidly in front of you? Posted on TikTok by Ricky Lai 27 Ricky is wandering through what looks like a massage parlor when something unexpected appears over his shoulder. The TikToker is talking to the camera as he guides viewers through and doesn't even seem to notice this creepy figure that appears in the window behind him. A woman with long dark hair dressed in white lurks there. It's not clear if the woman is standing outside beyond the window or if this is a reflection of the woman standing inside. I kind of hope it's the former, because if not, she could be right over your shoulder. This leaked video is over 10 years old and comes from Tacoma County in Washington. A couple are hiking together on Valentine's Day when they hear something in the sky and look up. Oh my god. That is on fire. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Holy sh. Stop! Some kind of meteorite falls towards Earth and they rush down the path to investigate. They quickly find the rock sticking out of the ground and make a quick video to document their find. Get me and it. Yes, it is. Go talk, this please. This thing has come out of the sky. Uh, you right? <gasps> their reactions seem pretty real, but I'm not sure if I believe that a meteorite could land that closely without causing some kind of damage to them. Let me know if you think this video is legitimate. I'm especially interested in learning exactly what happens to people who are close to a meteorite. Because from what I understand, I thought they usually go deaf from the impact. Myrtle Sorosa is a popular model and actress from the Philippines who witnessed something unexplainable while on tour. In eastern Samar, she and her crew are navigating unlit back roads when they spot this small phantom-like figure in the street. In Myrtle's words, the white blob caught by the dash cam does not match what they saw in person. She says what they saw looked more like a child who was around 10 years old with a pale face and a bluish white shirt. They wanted to double back and save the helpless child, but their tour guide said that this road is famous for child ghost sightings and that it was best to get out of there quickly. I guess this could all be just a publicity stunt, but since Eastern Samar once had a bad typhoon that claimed the lives of many children, I think that she is probably telling the truth. Based out of the southern city of D'Armonville, Exploring Alabama is a YouTube channel that takes on the creepiest abandoned places in the entire state. One such video is an abandoned church that's in the early stages of decay. Inside is a mess but still structurally sound. Some rooms are too dark and creepy for him to willingly go into, so he mostly stays in the more well-lit areas and continues to explore until he gets his share of footage. As he's leaving, something compels him to take one last look in the main room, and that's when he records it. Some are calling this a mysterious creature, while others say this is only a stray cat and nothing more. It's too far away to tell for certain, but I think it's interesting and worth talking about. So what do you think? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.